Okay, so this is an experiment that I did the other day that I wanted to share with you. Um, it's uh, kind of a weaving, paper weaving technique. Um, so I've essentially, I've woven this paper into a twill pattern. Um, you can do whatever you like. I've got a couple of examples here. We've got a regular tabby pattern and then I've got a twill here. Um, and I don't know if that makes it easier to see where I've drawn out the lines. Uh, so you can actually see the pattern. But essentially what I've done is I've cut paper into quarter inch strips, taped one edge, and woven it together into a pattern just to make a texture. Um, so I'm going to print these on the gel plate and I'll show you uh, show you what happens. So I'm going to use this uh, red oxide. First, we're going to put a little bit of that down. And I'm going to grab my brayer roll this out to a nice thin layer as always. Oh. Nice even coating. Uh, and then I'm just going to put my texture plate like right in the paint. Push it down. And we'll pull it up and see what we get. So I have that, and then I'm going to put some paper down. And let's see what we get. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Like, looks like basket weave. Um, it's a really interesting way to get a three-dimensional effect without really having a three-dimensional thing. Um, okay, I'm going to print the other sample just so you can see the difference, but I'll leave this one right here. So this one is a quarter-inch strips. Um, of course, they're not exact. You can see some variation between, say, here and here. Um, but that, I think, is part of what gives it interest. The other thing that gives it interest is that I didn't push down with the same pressure in every area. Like you can see um, some of these have more paint on them than others. Um, so that just creates a little more variation. Okay, so I'm gonna print the same color with this other sample. And we'll see how that one turns out. one I'm not going to worry too much about covering the whole plate because that's a smaller sample. Uh, put that down. Rub it in. Pick it up. And we'll find a piece of paper. Okay, nice. Okay, so here you can actually see my two different um, patterns. So I've got the tabby weave, which is the normal, simplest over under, one over one under for every um, thread or paper. And that one looks like the squares here. Um, so you can see that here, what that might look like actually in the woven format. Um, but then we have the twill, which I think is more interesting to me. And that pattern is over two, under two, but every every row starts one thread or one paper in front of the next one so that it kind of gives this like diamond uh, or sort of zigzag sort of pattern. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of potential with this. I, as a textile major in my undergrad, I would really love to try some different um, some different patterns and see how they come through in the print in the end. So that's something I want to play with a lot further. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see what you do. So give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. See you soon. Bye.